Hi, I'm David Byrne, Certified Master Beekeeper. Since my last video, I've had so many people request more information on how I coat my frames with extra wax. Uh, a lot of people ask me how much is too much, how much is enough, how do you do it? And so I just decided to make a video to show you how I do it. Now this is an example of, uh, these are medium frames. They're uh, six inch frames on a medium super. And I've had these on a beehive now in August for, I've had them on all season. And it's a swarm that I call kind of late in the, in the spring or, or mid-summer. So they haven't really done much because a swarm takes a little longer to get going than a package or a nuke. So I decided to go ahead and coat them with wax to speed up them being able to pull out the, the comb. So what I do is I just take a regular paintbrush like this that's uh, got the paint knocked off, a clean brush. And then I'll turn off my wax melter, which is just a little skillet that I bought from Walmart. And what's really neat about this is I don't do anything except this is a dedicated skillet just for beeswax. So when I'm done with it, I turn it off, the wax gets hard, and then I'm able just to go ahead and use it over and over again. So then, uh, this is still a little bit hot. So what I'll do is I'll wait until it gets a little bit cooler but I'll go ahead and demonstrate how you just take it and start painting it on like this. Hold it at a little bit of an angle and that way when it runs it'll run down in the direction that you need it. People ask me how much do I put on? You know what? It's about like painting on one layer of paint. So if you were to paint a wall uh, you don't have to physically see big you know amounts of wax on here just enough to do it just like that. I turn to the other side, do the same thing again, and just start painting extra wax on. What's so nice about this is, it's amazing how the bees will utilize the wax that you give them to stretch it out in addition to the wax that they're going to produce from their wax glands, but they'll use this wax to actually draw the comb out to the, to the, the spacing that they need. So here's what it looks like after you paint extra wax on. So in comparison the one that is just beeswax coated from the manufacturer, you can kind of see the difference of how the extra wax does make a difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint the rest of these uh, with my wax. I've turned my wax melter all the way off now. And again, this is a skillet that I paid like 50 bucks for at Walmart. And it's a designated skillet that I just use, leave my wax in here all the time. And that way I turn it on, I turn it off as I need it. And once you heat your wax, once you melt your wax, then you can just turn it off. It takes a, quite a while for the wax to get hard again. And, and as it gets harder, it gets uh, uh, a little more tackier so that you, can, you don't have to worry about uh, melting your frame or, or warping it. In other words, if your wax is really, really hot and you go to start painting it on like this, you could actually warp uh, the, the plastic. And if you warp it, then the bees might pull it out in funny, funny ways. Another benefit of this, you know, sometimes some of you have realized that if you use plastic, that the, pla the bees sometimes pull out plastic in funny ways by maybe making columns or making the wax off of the frame and more at an angle. You have the frame over here. They build a funny piece of wax this way. By coating extra wax, it pretty much eliminates the bees doing funky stuff on your plastic frames. Now, you new beginners that are saying, hey, I don't have a big skillet full of wax. What do I do? Um, start searching for it in advance. Uh, you can buy wax. We sell wax and you can buy wax online or uh, search eBay or something and you'll find beekeepers selling wax. Uh, first time beekeepers often harvest their wax from their cappings that they cut off on their honey supers and a lot of them just throw that extra wax away believe it or not. I talked to a guy the other day I said hey what do you do with your wax you get off your honey super. I'll throw it away. I said give it to me and if they're not using chemicals then I'm thinking hey that's good wax. So that's how you do it folks. Just paint it on, have a good time at it, and uh, watch how amazing it is that the bees will pull this out. One last note for some of you watching, you're getting close to winter now if you're watching it at the right time. 
you need to start making preparations. We are offering a how to get your bees through the winter class coming up. We've got, we filled up two classes. We've made an extra class on October the 5th. So go online to honeybeesonline.com. Check us out. We'd love to have you to take one of our classes or follow our lessons online. See you next time.